Welcome to JWL Sports, where we review all the best sports from around the world. Now, you're probably wondering, why should I watch over here instead of anywhere else? And that's because over there, they don't care about what you have to say. They say this all the time. They talk down to us. They think we're just a bunch of clowns on YouTube, Twitter. But I think it's the opposite. I think we know exactly what we're talking about. So I read every single comment. So whether you agree with me or disagree with me, either way, let's get in some discussions. Let's get in some fights. But ultimately, let's just have some fun. So without further ado, let's get to it. We're watching a clip of First Things First with Nick Wright and Broussard talking about how Russell Wilson can silence his doubters. Because um, as you can see on the screen, Cam Hayward on Russ, you know, prove a lot of people wrong. Um, and you can also see the odds, AFC North odds, Baltimore uh, first, Cincinnati second, Cleveland third, and then Pittsburgh fourth. Um, I don't have too much to say at the top. I just want to say, though, that... I don't think the Steelers are going to be a complete disaster or Russell Wilson is going to be a complete disaster. He is clearly a competent quarterback and can play pretty well, well enough to be somewhat relevant, but the team needs to be good enough and the coaching needs to be good enough and you need to get a little bit of luck here and there. And the truth is, is that the Baltimore Ravens aren't going to give that to you. The Cincinnati Bengals aren't going to give that to you. And the Cleveland defense, at least, is not going to give that to you. So at this point, to really succeed in the NFL, you need a special quarterback, a special quarterback, or a pretty good quarterback with some really nice pieces offensively and a great or special offensive coordinator slash offensive head coach. But it doesn't work if you have a pretty good quarterback and pretty good weapons around you and a pretty good coordinator because then you just become like a seven eight nine win team and that's probably what the Steelers end up being especially because they should have a pretty potent defense so let's take a listen to see what they have to say and then we'll break it down from there uh lined up with brew as a Russ believer take a listen you I thought said. there was gonna be a competition there uh between him and Kenny uh but now going forward um, you just look for the leadership he's had. Um, a guy who's been in Seattle, who's won games, uh, won a Super Bowl already, um, didn't have the the best time in Denver. But, uh, you know, I think he's a hungry guy who's ready to prove a lot of people wrong. Okay, it's courtesy of the Rich Eisen Show. Brew, do you expect Russ to silence his doubters? Well, look, this is a tough or interesting situation for me. Because if you guys remember a few few weeks ago, before the Steelers got any of the quarterbacks, and it, the reports were that they weren't going for anybody. Mm. And I said, oh, they should go for Russ. I said, hey, really, I'd go for Justin Fields first. Yeah. But we didn't think they'd go for either. They end up getting Russ first and now Fields. So I like both guys. I think they're in a great position, the Steelers. Here's what I'll say about Russ. I do think he's going to win the job. I, he's got it right now. I think he'll secure it in training camp. But I also think, I think Cam Hayward, one of the leaders of their team, respected. That'll help Russ. He's obviously got his back. The leash on Russ will be short, and it should be. But it's up to him to, if he play like, he can't come out slowly. He can't come out playing poorly because if he plays poorly and doesn't look great, they were, they're going to be like, we want to see what Justin can do. So how many, suppose he's I playing think mediocre. Russ can, See, this is already setting both quarterbacks up to fail. You're putting this pressure on Russ. Every time he overthrows someone, throws a bad pass, interception, whatever, takes a sack, he feels, I'm one step closer to being benched. That is a snowball effect. Russell Wilson does not have that confidence right now to be able to overcome that consistently. So now you're setting Russell Wilson up to fail. On the other side, you're setting Justin Fields up to fail because now Justin Fields getting all antsy. He's like, oh, man, am I going in? Am I not going in? Or, and then you're going to throw me in in the middle of the game, and I'm not even going to get first-team reps, and then, I'm, and then this is my chance. This is my chance. Russell Wilson just got benched. Okay, this is my team. It's time for me to prove everyone wrong. It just builds up this pressure. You're setting both quarterbacks up to fail in that regard. What the Steelers should do is go to Russell Wilson, go to Justin Fields, and say, well, actually, maybe do this separately, but be like, Russ, you are the starting quarterback. Justin Fields is sitting behind you this entire season, okay? You have no risk of being benched. We signed you. We want to see what you can do. We believe in you. We also think Justin Fields has the potential to be a great quarterback, but we want him to be developed first, and we believe that he can learn a lot from you. So there's no pressure, no nothing. 
just keep doing you. And you know what? If you keep playing great and winning, then we'll be forced just to let, you know, Justin Fields go. So there's no pressure whatsoever. Even if you go 0-6, Justin Fields is not starting. Now you have the conversation with Justin Fields and say, Justin Fields, we believe in you. We think that you just need to be developed. We think that the Chicago Bears are a clown show organization and completely mismanaged you. I can't believe they're getting rid of you. We think you are elite. You are a top level talent and we know you know that. We're going to, we got you hooked up with a legitimate OC. We got some nice pieces. Russell Wilson, he may get a bad rep right now, but you know what? He is a Super Bowl winning Pro Bowl you know, I think he led the league in passing the one year. He is, he, he's, he's got some hardware there, okay? He's got the jewelry. You can learn a lot from him. You are not going to play this entire season. I know it sucks. I know your career has not started as you envisioned, but this is the way it's going to go. Trust us, okay? Patrick Mahomes sat for a whole year, and the rest is history. You're going to learn. You're going to develop. And then, you know, then, then we're going to really see what you can do. We believe in you. Boom. All the pressure in the in the quarterback room has now completely resolved. Now all the players know who is the starting quarterback because what also people don't understand is that this puts the stress also on the players because now they don't know who's going to be our quarterback or if they're down 21 to nothing and they're going into like the third quarter or the fourth quarter or whatever, are the players looking around and being like, yo, are they, are they going to, is Justin going to be coming in, man? Is Justin, you know, what's going on with him, you know? And it, it just, it just, everything becomes unclear and foggy and hazy and when you establish this everyone knows everyone knows also now to get behind russell wilson and to not being like hey man justin fields is playing pretty good in practice maybe you know we need to try to lobby to get him some starts right now like no 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 no. he is just developing that's great he's showing promise and that get excited then for next year you know but like this is just what it is that's what you have to do okay it's been proven to work and especially when a quarterback needs to be developed not right. I mean, if they're winning, if they're like three and one, and he's well, three playing and mediocre, they'll they'll you know I think they'll keep they'll obviously keep him in there. But I'm saying if they lose some of these games early and he plays kind of like he did in Denver, then I think he could be in trouble. But I, I think he'll be able to hold off. I think he'll play well, but the leash is short. And it and as a even though I like Russ, it should be because Justin is more True. likely to be your future. True. So, Bert, just come over to this side of the No, game. I'm not. No, I Bert, like Bert, both guys. Bert, I think I, they're I in a great position. I, I, I know, the but, the, but a, a week ago, the you you were, I think, ten toes down on Russ being the week one starter? and week 18 starter. I think the question We're was now, week now, one starter. Now, I think it, it was on the now roster. I think, I think that was, just, is he going to be on the I, roster? I, I, now I, it, it absolutely was that question because they said, you know, will he even make it to week one? Absolutely, that was the question. No, he will initially be on the roster. the roster, and then Tomlin was talking about how it's a race, but somebody's in pole position, yeah. and then Bruce Not did somebody. a whole NASCAR Russ. thing and, uh, about it. So, listen, the – we – we know he's not going to silence his doubters. I mean, Bruce is his biggest supporter, and Bruce just benched him before no, Halloween. No, I didn't him. He said three and one. You can't. I, I, yeah, what am I, Wilds? Yeah. I, I don't know. I hate to sound like Nick. I don't know. I'm objective. Objective. I, uh, yeah. yeah. All right? and, and I am saying, even as uh, a guy that likes Wilds Russ, no idea. the leash should be short. Yeah. So here And you got to go out there and secu- take it, seize it, Russ. Seize yeah. it. Okay. I don't think it's going to happen. And if Vegas is right about these odds... That the Steelers are, I mean, look at that. Baltimore one, plus 125, Cincinnati plus 165, Cleveland five and a half to one, Pittsburgh eight and a half to one. If Pittsburgh is that far away from contention, then the person who should be in pole position is actually Justin Fields. It makes That's more fair, sense But for I don't them. think the Steelers no, look I, at it that I, way. I agree right. with you. But I, they, they, they clearly don't. What's up, Wilds? Well, I just I, wonder. Nor should they. Mm-hmm. Right? You're, you're kind of on the fence here, just like the Steelers. Because we've seen the Jets, like, we can win the AFC East with a 40-year-old quarterback. We saw the Falcons give uh, Kirk, uh, Cousins, Kirk, Kirk Cousins. Cousins. How old is Kirk Cousins? 36. 36. With one Achilles. With Achilles. They gave mm-hmm. him a big deal. I think Russ is 34. So why all, 35. Of, 35, yeah. why, why all of a sudden does the future have to be Justin Fields? Why can't it be Russ? Why can't he, Russ be our future? Because a give year us- ago he was bad. Last year he was, I thought he was pretty, he was okay. Yeah. Nick thinks he was bad. I think he was pretty good. The, the numbers do say he was better than he actually was, but I thought he was pretty good. But that's it. He's coming yeah. off 
two subpar years. Yeah. And, and not if he goes out there and plays well, then I, I think. I just want to pause real fast and say, you know, they always say he says the numbers prove that, you know, you know, show that he was better than he actually was. That always makes me laugh because, again, then when they want to sell their argument, they say, look at these numbers. Look at these numbers. Never gets told to me. I think they'll gladly keep sure. him as a start. Yeah, but they, but but he won't. And and so like the I just I there's a lot of things set up for him to play well. The, see, if I, he doesn't play so well, I, he truly is. So washed. by the way, I, that's the other thing where I disagree with you. The Steelers do not have good weapons. The the running backs aren't the, good. No, Jalen Warren I, I, and Najee. Here. So so, so well, to be matters. clear, I think Najee is below average flatly. I think Jalen Warren. Every team's got a Jalen Warren. A guy who, if you get six carries a game, looks dynamic. If you, in today's NFL, don't have a Jalen Warren, what have you been doing? I, and but they're, no, they're you can I, work with I'm that. just being, I'm being serious. They're wide receivers. They have one guy that is talented and a total malcontent. Quits on plays and then it's, you show him the film. And he's like, damn straight. You trying to, I'm not trying to get hit. It's football. Yes. I can get hurt doing that. Like, that's true. Play. Deontay Johnson, they just got rid of, and you're like, oh, I love Pat Fryer. Well, I mean, sure. Fryer move is pretty he's, good. He's probably, yeah. They're going to Pat draft a receiver. The eighth best receiver in football. They're going, to, end, they're going to draft a receiver well, to go alongside George Pickens. And George Pickens I, knows it's time to shine. Okay. If I'm I want to ever get you, paid, I, I got to I, shine. I, I, in that division, Brew, do they have the worst weapons by far? Obviously. The Browns got good weapons. The yeah. Bengals? Bengals got I good weapons. I know you love the Ravens. Yes, okay. by far the worst. <laughs> I mean, Ravens in that division, Henry. do they have at best the third best but, quarterback but situation? Maybe year, the worst. But hold on, uh, last year they had clearly the worst quarterback situation in the but, division. Yes, and they had the same weapons, yeah, and but, they finished ten and seven and made the, the playoffs. I, I understand that. I, I mean, I, I, even I, even as and so, and that's another interesting point because I said this about Aaron Rodgers and the pa and, and the Packers, Aaron Rodgers and the Jets, uh, because. Nick has said, right, we all know this at this point, that Caleb Williams, he said that, you know, when you draft, when you're like the, you know, a, a bad team and you're drafting a new quarterback, that it's worth three wins. You know, that's what he said. And that's why he says, I think the Caleb Williams, they're going to, with the Bears, that they're going to, that they're, they're due to win another three games. And that's not even someone as amazing as potentially Caleb Williams. So the real question then is, is Russell Wilson worth more wins then can you pick it? And the answer is yes, right? I, I, I believe that. Um, and that's not to say really anything too strongly about either of those quarterbacks, but I don't, I don't think Russell Wilson is just a complete lost scrub, should never be in the NFL ever again. He's made mistakes. He's not playing as well as he has in the past. And may have never been as good as once believed. All those things can be true. But what can also be true is, is that he's still a good quarterback. Good enough, you know, to be in the league, right? Um, and I, I think, but I don't believe, I don't agree with Brew where like all the pieces are there for him to succeed. Where if he can't succeed with Pittsburgh, then he's done. That's not fair. Because now, that's like if you say, that, that's like equivalent to the 49ers then. Or if he's with Sean McVay, or you're with like a true offensive mind here. He's not with, he's not with that right now. So you're putting a lot of pressure on the OC now to be able to make moves. Not to mention, Russell Wilson has been tagged as an issue that if anything goes wrong, everybody points to Russ. Because nobody wants the blame. The OC, the offensive, you know, um... Mike Tomlin, um, the the offensive line, uh, the receivers, the running backs, everyone. Everyone just wants to point, well, it's Russ. It's Russ. What do you want us to do? You gave us Russ, Russell Wilson. Of course this is what's happening, even if it's not necessarily accurate. You know, it's what happened to Carson Wentz. I mean, it's what happens to a lot of players once they get tagged as, you know, not a winner, not good, not a good locker room guy, whatever it may be. Um, and in, in a lot of ways, right? Like, Russell Wilson wasn't the problem in Denver, right? Was did he not get along with um, uh, Sean Payton? Absolutely, but was he so terrible that he needed to be benched like a complete scrub? No, I I don't believe that. I really really don't. Under that logic, then why didn't Justin Fields get benched? Um, so you know, how did Baker Mayfield ever get another starting job? 
You know, Russell Wilson did win a Super Bowl. Russell Wilson does know how to manage a game. Even if you want to reduce him to just being a game manager, he's clearly proven to be capable of doing those things. Now, we are in a different era of football. He's played in two eras in a lot of ways, where the one era defense could really win championships. And now it's really like you need a special quarterback. And that is part of the problem with Russ right now. But I just think in a good conservative system and maybe not one that is so aggressive russ could win and and the problem is is that's why they it, they would be benefit it would be beneficial for them to really establish a true run game what what russell wilson needs is pretty much like you know year one or two ezekiel elliott that's really like kind of like what he needs right that's when dak prescott shined when you just had this beast of a running back that you could run the offense through That, in my viewpoint, is how you can set Russell Wilson up to succeed. But if you think you're just going to be able to run an innovative offense and really scheme and get a little fancy, I'm just not so sure that's going to work. And the only reason why you can kind of hide maybe not a great an elite quarterback with a great OC with great weapons is because you let the weapons do the work, right? It's just about getting the ball to those pieces. A great OC can only do so much. So no matter how great their OC maybe is, which I don't really think he is. I mean, I'm not saying he's bad either, but um, it's just the jury's still out in a lot of ways. Failed head coach, um, which, you know, they're different They're different skill sets in a lot of ways. Um, could still be a brilliant OC and a terrible head coach. Um, I just think that it's just, it's got the potential to be pretty sloppy, quite honestly, um, especially when you have another quarterback in the wings waiting to just pounce any moment, something, you know, bad can happen um so those are just my thoughts i would absolutely love to hear yours let me know in the comments below um you know do you think russell wilson can silence his doubters um and please don't forget to subscribe um we're building such an amazing community here and i would really absolutely love to see you part of it you know i want to build something that we all genuinely feel connected to something that we're really excited to be part of and i think we're well on our way to doing it and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as it really does help with the visibility in the algorithm. And it helps combat the haters who just hate on me and give me a thumbs down because I'm not just saying universal praise about whatever topic I'm talking about. So I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much and see you next time.